The topic of today is one of the most annoying mechanics in Tarkov, however most of the time you might not realize it, so for the warm-up, check out this clip. Mamma mia! Injector case Orino! No! I can't take it! He doesn't let me take it, bro! I can't take it! Bro! This is so lame! This is so lame, dude! Both of them found in raid, I can't loot this stuff! So as you've realized, the topic of today is uh, picking items and the in-game limitations. So let's talk about that. Those limits were done by BSG to prevent RMT. So for example, if a cheater sells somebody um, in-game in -game rubles, right? He can bring the items out, like for example, Lupus Coffee, because you can sell them to therapists for like, what, 40k, I think? You sell them to therapists for 32k for one slot, good trade. You want to take the fourth one? Uh-uh, can't do that. So you can't get a full backpack of Dr. Lupus Coffee and transfer it to someone else. However, there were multiple instances when I found more than four, more than four Dr. Lupus Coffees on labs and on reserve, and you can't pick up more than three, even if they're found in raid. You try to pick up the fourth one, it says three max, unlucky. It doesn't matter if they're found or not found in raid. And I think this is lame. If I play the game and I find items in the raid, I should be able to pick them up if they're found in raid. It doesn't make sense. Same applies to the LBT rigs. Let's say you wear one rig, right? And then you kill you kill two raiders on reserve or two raiders on labs. And you want to utilize the space inside those rigs. Because it's good stuff, you can put items inside, etc, etc. And you want to put both of them in your backpack. Unlucky, can't have more than two. Same thing. I've killed two raiders, both of the rigs are found in raid. How comes I can't do it? This is this is just this is just lame. This is the thing which shouldn't exist. And it's fixable. It's fixable with one simple trick. Simply. If the item is found in raid, I should be able to take as many of them as I want. Those items which are found in raid and those ones that are not should not be stacking together for those limitations. Alright. If I if I get like two or three non-found in raid Dr. Lupus coffee, alright, I shouldn't be able to take the fourth one which is not found in red as well but if i have three non-found in red ones i should be able to pick up found in red ones as many as i want if it makes sense seriously this mechanic that's changing it's been like this for the past two years i believe and bsg didn't change it the same thing applies to ledexes you can't you can't get more than three ledexes i believe same applies to gpus you can't get more than three gpus yes in most of the cases, you will not be finding those three GPUs on labs or an interchange or whatever. But when you do, you will not be able to pick them up. And this is the thing which ruins the experience. Such a small thing, once you find, let's say, uh, three Bitcoins, four Bitcoins. Once I found four Bitcoins on labs, right? And I wasn't able to pick up the fourth one. It felt lame. I think, I think you would feel the same thing. And all of us can agree that this needs changing. Literally, make sure that if the item is found in raid, you just pick up as many of them as you can, and that's it. It fixes the issue. The other point which I would love to cover is generally RMT changes. BSG done plenty of in-game mechanics, plenty of in-game changes to counter RMT, such as this, amount of items you can uh, get into your backpack or whatever. Uh, tradable things, for example, you can't trade bitcoins on the flea market, that's because of, uh, of the RMT. You can't drop items to your friends in raid, you can't drop stims, you can't drop uh, any cases like dog cases or sick cases, you can't drop any of the keys, you can't drop any cash, well, like, you can drop like 20k rubles and that's it. And all of this was done to prevent RMT. Alright, let's be honest, did it help? I don't know, but this wipe, I've seen a lot of cheaters, and to be honest, like, I haven't seen that many in a while. So, are those changes helping? I don't know, but from my experience, eh. So, why ruin players' experience with those changes? Especially, as BSG said, that whenever a cheater is getting banned, right, whoever bought the items from the cheater and played with them, aka all the RMT players, they're receiving like a 60-day ban as well. So, why, why even implement those uh, mechanics? Like, to stop them? It doesn't stop it anyway. People still do those things. So, mm. So if I were to adjust anything, um, I definitely would get rid of this mechanic of how many items you can you can take because this this mechanic is just dumb. It doesn't make any sense to me. And I hope most of you can agree with me that if you find three coffees in the raid, you can't pick up the fourth one. It's just a forehead decision. Uh, so yeah, that's my rant. I hope you understood me. I hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching those videos. Check those videos out if you still haven't seen them. 
Hopefully there will be some changes regarding this in the future and I will see you in the next one.